Greetings and salutations, everyone. Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital, and today we're gonna do some fishing. Casting out here, cause today I'm gonna show you guys, if you don't already know, how to catch the smallmouth buffalo and young channel catfish here on Lone Star Lake in Texas. I'm gonna start off trying to catch the channel cats, and I'm using pet food. Got my leader set to about I believe it's about 55 inches right now. Oh, looks like we got something to play with it. Guys, I'm new with the uh, sports bobber, which is what I'm using, so be patient with me here. It's supposed to be ultra sensitive. But when I'm out here, um, oh, no, yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured I'd lose my first fish with that one. I'm trying to get used to this thing. It's uh, it's a different type of bobber. I've never fished with it in the game or in real life, but we're going to give it another go here. So to catch the uh, channel catfish, I usually cast about anywhere from about 60 to I think 90 feet out towards the middle of Lone Star Lake. Right now I got pet food. Like I said, I think I got the leader set to about 55 and it looks like we're getting another hit. All right, yep, I think I got this one. Oh, if that's a channel cat, that's a... No, that can't be a channel cat. This thing's fighting too hard. I've only caught young channel cats, and I think that's all that's in here, and, and they usually don't fight this hard. This might actually be... This might actually be a small buffalo on pet food, which I haven't caught in here on pet food, if that's the case, and... Yeah, look at that, it is a small buffalo, smallmouth buffalo. Now, these are good for beginners, because uh, you guys earn a lot of experience points with them. They don't earn you much money, but... You will get uh, quite a quite a few experience points, and it's good for leveling up quickly. Let's throw another cast out there. I'm surprised I caught that on the pet food. We'll see if we can't pull a channel cat out this time. Now, one thing to keep in mind uh, when you're fishing for channel cats, um, and even the smallmouth buffalo, when you've I use dough balls. I'll review. Oh, looks like we got another hit. Gonna take it under. I'll get back to what I was saying in a minute. Oh, yeah. All right. Got another one already. Okay, this one feels more like a young channel cat. Still fighting pretty good, though. Let's see if we can reel this guy in and see what he is. Yeah, that's a channel cat. You don't get much experience or much money for these guys. I'm not sure why. It seems like people are really interested in catching them on this lake, but I, I just don't see the point, really, if your goal is to is to earn experience and money because they, they don't yield as much as the other fish on here. But a lot of people seem to be interested in catching them on Lone Star Lake, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do it. So I'm on the pier, if you haven't noticed, and like I said, I fish out as far, you know, to, to the middle of the lake as I can, between 60 to 90 feet out there. Um, one thing to take note is that, I guess aside from small buffalo and channel cat, you might catch, you got something else playing with it, you might catch some red ear sunfish while you're out here too. I noticed they hit both pet food and... Uh, and the dough balls that I use for smallmouth buffalo sometimes as well. Kind of interested to see if this fish is going to gonna take this bobber all the way under or not. Sometimes, sometimes when catfishing, um, it's a waiting game. It can be a waiting game. You might be out here for a couple minutes before you land one. It's not like bass and or bluegill. They, uh, they, they hit more... Or less frequently, I should say. And this does not feel like a channel cat. This might be a red ear sunfish. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, you, you run the risk of catching a couple of these guys while you're out there fishing for the channel cats. But, you know, reel it in. Toss it back out there. Um, 
or keep it if you want. I, it's up to you. But the pet food is, in my eyes, it's relatively inexpensive. And you get quite a few. You get, I think, 50, 50 pet food when you buy some. So going through them, uh, going through the pet food is not a real big deal to me. It's not like minnows or shrimp or something baits of that nature where they're more expensive. And if you lose a minnow or a shrimp, then you got something else hitting us again. That, so that took it under. Doesn't feel like it's got much fight in it. This, this is probably another sunfish. So I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind catching these guys every once in a while, because it doesn't cost too much. Uh, if you're using pet food anyway, it doesn't cost too much uh, money if you catch them. Come on. This time we're going to pull out a channel cat. I can feel it. I might actually try switching to small cut bait if I ever fish catfish on this lake again. Might uh, eliminate some of those sunfish from biting. All right, we got a hit. Let's let this one be a channel cat. Oh, yeah. this It's definitely a channel cat. Not as much fight as a buffalo and way more fight than a sunfish. Yes, sir. Another channel cat. Put it on the stringer. Now, this spot is probably the best for channel cat and smallmouth buffalo on this lake that I've discovered anyway. So I'm going to switch up to the dough balls. And we're going to throw those on the hook. And we should catch uh, catch catch the smallmouth buffalo relatively quickly. They When you toss these out there, they, they seem to bite pretty consistently on these dough balls. So let's give it a shot. Uh, if you fish Texas Lone Star Lake with the dough balls or the pet food and you, and you start landing channel cats and smallmouth buffalo, be prepared because people might start asking you what bait you're using. See, only two fish. Uh, no, there we go. Yeah, that's a smallmouth buffalo. She got some fight in her. Yeah, let's bring her in. Uh, but people are really interested in knowing how to catch channel cats and these these smallmouth buffalo on Texas Lone Star Lake. So be prepared for for some chat questions. Yeah, she's a nice looking fish. Well, not really. She's pretty ugly, actually. I'm not a fan of carp. Give it just a little tug here. Hopefully that'll entice something to bite. Yeah, all right. Got a, got a hit and that took it under. That's another smallmouth buffalo. I got some fight in them. Probably the the most fight of any fish on this map. That's probably because they're the biggest fish you can catch on this map. And they're an ugly fish. <laughs> but, gain some 39 XP from it. I'm going to show you guys one more spot where you can catch these guys. It's way down here in the corner. Now, if you want, you can automatically spawn down here uh, from the map menu. It's the spawn point that's in the lower right hand corner. And we got some lily pads over here and there's actually a deep spot right past the lily pads, which I'm going to show you guys, where you can catch both smallmouth buffalo and channel kitfish. But I will warn you two things. Uh, whether you're fishing pet food or the dough balls out here, you run the risk of all, catching a lot of bluegill, a lot of shiners, and some crappie occasionally, too. All right, finally looks like we got something tugging at our bait. And it took it under. Oh, thank gosh. After all those crappies and bluegill, it's good to catch a smallmouth buffalo, finally. 
Yep, she got some fight in her. Go ahead and bring her in here. Get it through these weeds and check out the size of this one. Another three pounder. Not bad. Uh, throw it on the stringer. Can always use some extra money. I'm going to try to catch, catch some channel cat out of here just as a demonstration. Let's see if we can land one more fish before I conclude this episode. We got it on. It's about time. All right. Yep, this feels like a channel cat. It's not a buffalo. And there we go. Another channel catfish. All right, guys, that'll conclude this episode here. If you didn't already know how to, I hope you learned how to catch smallmouth buffalo and the channel catfish here on Lone Star Lake in Texas. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Helps me out a little bit. And if you want to stay up to date on future content, please subscribe, guys. All right. Keep on fishing in the free world. We'll see you next time.